Mr. Salera. If there are 10 ladies who are praying for you, you have only focus with Jega, the only one of your heart. You miss to know the other 10 who are also praying to God to develop friendship with you. Isa na lang ang choice mo. God wanted you to have as many friends. When you are all friends, you tend to be yourself, vulnerable to the learning of all so that they may know your true character. But if you zero into one, jelly, you tend to focus only on one. You become superman to her and she becomes supergirl to you. There is nothing that you can do wrong for the turn off. Everything that you do, dads, is special to her. And everything she does becomes special to you because you are like horses with what? You're only focused on one. What if she is not the one? What if he is not the one? And there is yet that God affords for you. Alana! Tapos na. But remember this. If you are sincere with that love and get wrong with that choice, if you bring it to God, God can still work it out for the best. What I only wanted for you tonight is to experience how God designed relationships. Do not make haste. Do not hurry. Lalo na sa ating mga lalaki. One is to ten ang ratio. Anong minamadali mo? Have as many friends. But be careful that you do not show special attention. Otherwise, you are trifling with the hearts of others. I wish I could stop here. But it keeps me tonight with a passion to tell you that Solomon and the Shulamite also had friends around them. You start reading chapter 1 and chapter 2. Hindi na tayo lumalayo. Diyan na lang sa chapter 1 and chapter 2. Every time they praise and admire each other, there will be friends in, in concert who will also say, we are delighted in your love for each other. You see, friends, when there is true love and in friendship, you find also your friends around you favoring, affirming the love you have for each other. You see? Pero pag hindi, merong nagagalit dyan. Bakit? Ano bang meron niya na wala ako? That's why you need to keep it within your circle of friends so that you continue to become vulnerable and at the same time express your acts of kindness and giving without the motive of trifling with hearts. To the Shulamite, Solomon was her dodi. You remember? To the Shulamite, Solomon was her dodi. It is the Hebrew for the term parallel to that of Solomon's rayati. Rayati for a girl sweetheart and dodi for a boy sweetheart. It developed in time as they considered their character of each other, they saw that God was leading them towards each other. You see, friends, after the, this in friendship, Shulamite woman was admiring 
admiring Solomon very much, but only in his heart. Kaya kayong mga babae, was ma- huwag masyadong expressive. Minsan, pinangangalandakan nyo pa yung crush nyo. Let's be very careful on this. Because if we are not careful on this, it can what? It can awaken, it can arouse the wrong affection towards each other. Like the Shulamite, she kept it in her heart. But daily, it was growing closer as God designed it. The more she gave, the more she was drawn closer to Solomon. You see, she was threshing the floor, the vineyard for the wine and working also in the field at the heat of the sun. But deep in his heart, she was praying that someday the Lord will bless her with a man who has true or a hava for her. She said, do not look at me because my complexion is what? Is dark. But in the eyes of Solomon, believe me, she was much fairer than anybody else among the women. You see, her worry was that she was exposed to the heat of the sun every day and her complexion has turned what? Has turned dark. Much of those who have better affluence in life have fairer complexion because they are not working in the sun. And many of those who were fairer in complexion desired to be with Solomon, but Solomon chose the one under the heat of the sun. She said, he said, you are fairest of them all, mga working student. Do not envy those who do not have to work to go through college because you are learning and God is preparing you for greater responsibilities. Kaya kayong mga lalaki, if you'd like to find that rayati that God has reserved for you, do not go to the parties. Go where the work is and look for this Shulamite who gives their heart for the work and the industry they have and only have in their life. Sabi ng mga matatanda, yung mga maninipis ang balat dahil hindi nagtatrabaho. Time will come when you are already together, you will discover that they do not even know how to cook. It seems that Solomon, when he fell in love with the Shulamite, she, he saw her working and giving herself to profitable labor. Hindi yung ayaw maglakad o sell, pa-drive-drive lang. Oh, goodness. Look for those who are ready to take responsibilities in life. Because Solomon appreciated the Shulamite not only in her faith, in her dark complexion, but also what? Her industry in the work she does. Gentlemen, where are you setting your eyes to look for your rayati? Pagka may mga retreat, ang tingnan ninyo, sino yung naiiwan sa table at naglilinis, naguhugas ng pinggan? Yan ang mga hanapin ninyo. Those who give themselves to useful labor, who takes the initiative to, to make your surroundings clean? Ask the friends of this special someone. 
Do they approve of her? You see, gentlemen, that's why it is noteworthy to make as many and as wide your friend's network. Because you can tell, you can ask your network, how is this lady? How do you see her? How do you appraise her life? You begin to appreciate who she is in her circle. Pero pag nag-zero in ka na lang sa kanya, kahit na ano pang sabihin ng iba, you are my wonder woman in my life. That's why it's very important for Solomon to continue friendship with the Shulamite until she becomes his rayati and he becomes her dodi in their ahava. Praise God. Love is not only for those who are affluent and educated, but ahava can be experienced by those who are sincere to take God in their life and to share it to others when the right time comes. Many women have their inferiorities. And sometimes, it's better that way. As you look at the mirror, you say, mirror, mirror on the wall. Many times, I do not want you. Never do I want you. Because as you see, some of you begin to become, you know, inferior of others. Probably maliit yung dodo mo, but yung sa kanila malaki. Or probably you have an oversized booty. Uy, masyado namang malaki. Or probably you have a dark complexion or nose too long or eyebrows that are not light. Kaya araw-araw na lang binubunot mo tapos sinusulatan mo ulit. Let me tell you this. If you are not ready to accept yourself the way God made you, the, the physical attributes that God has given you, you are not ready for a hava. You cannot give yourself when you cannot accept yourself. For the Shulamite, she said, Do not look at me, for I am dark in complexion, but I am lovely. Though she knew there were many things imperfect of her, she was confident in God. Lovely, translated from the Hebrew, simple and modest. She was banking on God's estimate on her rather than the estimate of this world. So ladies, tonight when you go home, look at the mirror, mirror on the wall. And whatever there is that you cannot accept, ask God to reveal to you that you are the apple of his eyes. You are worth dying for on the cross. And if you're the only one, he will still come to save you and die for you. That is your value in God's sight. God's Ahava values you more than any precious thing in this world. Live your life in simplicity, in modesty. Place your character in Him and you will find your Solomon and you will find your Dodi. Before this program ends, the AYM officers would like to inform everyone that 
You could send your questions and literary pieces about love to this number, 0916-557-5012. You can also contact the same number if you want to offer a musical offering about God's love. Your questions will be answered in the culmination program on Saturday afternoon. Now let's all stand for our closing song. May God's unquenchable love be with you and the unstoppable love of our Lord Jesus Christ and the ministry of the Holy Spirit be with you tonight in his name. Amen.